My sweet friend Jenny makes the most delicious food. She and her family eat similarly to how we try to eat in our house, so I always love getting fresh perspective from her and how she cooks. The other day she made a pumpkin smoothie, and this is my take on her smoothie. I've just tweaked it a little bit because she used bananas. I didn't have bananas, so I used dates and added in a couple things. So here you go. In a high-powered blender, I'm pouring in one cup of non-dairy milk, one cup of ice, and half a cup of pumpkin puree. So many recipes call for one cup of pumpkin puree, and if you have a can of that, you're left with half a cup, and this is the perfect use for that. Then I'm gonna add in four pitted dates, one tablespoon of cashew butter. You can absolutely use almond butter or any other nut butter that you prefer. I just like to use cashew butter because it's more mild in flavor. And then I'm gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, an eighth a teaspoon of cardamom, an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. You don't have to use all those, but I like to use them all. If you have them on hand, I'd recommend it. And then I'm gonna put in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And this is optional, but I like to add in two tablespoons of collagen protein. And I know Jenny uses a vegan protein powder. And then I'm just gonna blend this up, always starting on low and working it up to a high speed to make sure that the dates are fully pureed and you don't get those chunks that get stuck in your straw, although they are yummy. This makes two and a half cups, so it is great for a single serving, but also really easy to split, especially if you're going to eat something else with it or just have it as a snack. I like to sprinkle this with a little bit more nutmeg and a little bit more cinnamon, and it just makes it pretty and adds that nice little touch of flavor at the top, and it is good to go. So thank you, Miss Jenny. I hope that you guys will enjoy.